Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the beautiful Courtney Johnson and my lovely friend Anita Sadowska. I'm not sure if you guys know who she is yet. She just started on YouTube, so make sure you check her out. I've linked her in the description below. <laughs> I've also linked Courtney down in the description below. Make sure you check them both out. Today we are going to be shooting Courtney here at the beach. Anita and I are gonna be restricted to one lens for each round. We're gonna use the RF 28-70 F2 and the EF 70-200 version two and we're gonna switch for each round. So we'll show you guys what we come up with and yeah, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, <laughs> So I'm gonna start shooting Courtney. I'm using the 28 to 70 RF F2 for this round. Um, we're gonna just play around with different apertures, different angles and see what we get. I'm gonna start at F2 because this lens goes to F2, so why not? It's a little gloomy out, so we can do it. Maybe walk towards the water a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, love. Here, stand here and just kind of wander, look different ways, like play with the sweater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cute. Let's do a few more um, kind of candid moments. Even if you're moving a lot more, it's totally fine. Maybe let's go this way so we're not like tripping over rocks. Cute. Love. These I'm doing more of a movement vibe, moving around a lot. So I'm changing my focal length quite a bit. Love that, Courtney. So cute. I'm liking shooting at this wider focal length actually because I'm getting more of the background. And with these rocks and the water, it's really, really nice. Beautiful, Courtney. Look out at the ocean. Yeah, cute. Yes, love the movement. Let's do a shot of you like going to put your hair up. Okay. I feel like that'll be really nice. Yes. So when I shoot on a beach, I'm usually shooting with a 70 to 200 lens because I just find for swimwear, that's my sweet spot. That's what I like to do. I shoot tighter crops usually. I feel like they're really flattering on the model's body. Um, so shooting with this lens on the beach is a little different for me. However, I did get to this lens recently and I do love it. So I have been using it a little bit more, but I find that I'm shooting more at 70 millimeter or like close to 70. So for this challenge, I was trying to shoot a little bit wider for some just so that you guys could see the difference. but. I'm interested to see what Anita does because she's used to shooting more with a wider lens. She's not really used to shooting with the 70 to 200. And I feel like her arm's gonna hurt at the end of it. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, my name is Anita Stavska and I'm brand new to YouTube, so bear with me. Um, today I'll be shooting on the 70 to 200. Um, I don't really shoot on the 70 to 200. For those of you who know me, and there's no way you'd know me because I don't do YouTube at all, you would know that I only shoot on the 24 to 70, so this is gonna be fun. I mean, I feel like I've used, I've used that 70 to 200 before, I just don't use it a lot. Hence why I'm here by these rocks and the model is all the way down there by these rocks. So we're just gonna chill and see how it goes. It's Megan's favorite lens. I don't know why, we shall find out. Thankfully, I am wearing shoes and there's lots of water, so this is ideal for me. This is where I want to stay. I want to be a little marshmallow man. 
The first thing that I noticed for sure is that there is way more lens compression. I'm shooting on 3.5 and the background is blurry as heck. So that's beautiful. I love that. That's really pretty. Yeah, I love that. So I'm getting some full body now. Perfect. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I love the side. Yeah, that's really nice. This is definitely not my usual style. I never shoot like this, but who knows. Okay, we changed the location a tiny bit. I just want it to be lower. Beautiful, love that. Yeah, gorgeous. Yes, love that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Uh-huh. And Chinapa, yeah, perfect. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. I want to take advantage of this lens being so close and I'm going to take like a beauty style photo. I'm going to put her hair down. Yeah, I love that. So as you see, we're getting some super close up shots. Love that. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And I'm just going to go dramatic close up because I can. Beautiful. Yes, love that. Beautiful. Perfect. Love that. Yeah. Thanks, Meg. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. And just don't walk too far. Just like do maybe like one, two, one, two. Yeah. Beautiful. That's the biggest freaking success that you can pretty much have her zoom in and zoom out. I did really like this lens. It is a nice lens. I see what Meg sees in it. Um, it's a really nice lens. I really like how it looks. I really like how it um, takes photos. I like the fact that I can go from being relatively far full body to being like super close up, pretty much portrait. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, it is super blurry in the background. There's a lot of bokeh. So that's like one thing to keep in mind. I don't usually shoot a lot of bokeh in my photos, but I feel like when the weather's like this, when it's kind of cloudy and overcast, it is really nice to just blur out the background and just make it look very soft and magical. So I'm definitely a fan and I will be sad to switch to the 28 to 70, a lens that costs only $3,000 and is clearly not a great lens. So, <laughs> see ya. Not today, Satan, not today. Not today, Satan, not today. I like, I'm feeling very silly today. Whoa, no, no, stay back, hi able to switch from oh my goodness no we're not doing that go down go down why does it keep going i think it's fine i think it's okay ah, no no after video nope 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 not nope, today nope. satan All right, now this is look number two. Still shooting Courtney here. The light's kind of coming out, looking really beautiful. I've got the 70 to 200 EF lens. We've got the control ring on here. I've shot with it a few times and it usually works really well. So I'm excited to show you guys what we can do with this baby. This is my favorite lens for shooting on the beach, so. So I think if you, for this one, maybe do some more like posy shots. The last one we did more candid. I feel like this is more of a like bombshell babe. Let me see. Gorgeous. Get that hair off your face for me? Yeah, perfect. Gorgeous. Love. I'm loving that I can get some full length here, zoomed out. And I can also zoom in. Gorgeous. And get some tight shots. This is one of my favorite things about this lens. That's beautiful. Love. Oh yeah. I love the glow on the water here. Shooting at 3.2 really blurs everything out nicely. Gorgeous.
I'm liking that I can zoom in really tight. Yeah, so pretty. And with the color of this suit, it almost looks like just blending in with the background. I'm loving it. So cute. Cute. Okay, so we're just here. Light is average, it's just an ugly beach, you know? So it's gonna be hard, but I have the 2870. I will be way closer. I feel like we're way too far in here. Yes, love that chin up. Yeah, perfect. Love that. That's really gorgeous. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh. Okay, so um, I do actually really like the 2870. I mean, it is a really nice lens still. I do get a bit more choice of focal lens and so on when I work with it. I can be a bit closer, a bit more intimate, you know. It isn't ideal with a situation like today where the um, sky is super overcast because it just looks really white on photos. It doesn't have any texture because I have to expose for my model. Um, so that's the only downside. But other than that, I do still like this lens. It's really beautiful. However, I am considering now, only now, investing the 7200. So thank you, Meg, for breaking my bank account even further. It's not like I needed it, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something today. Don't forget to check out my team here, Anita, new to YouTube, and Courtney Johnson. <laughs> new to modeling. <laughs> new to modeling, apparently not. Um, hit the little bell button, like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments which lens you would prefer to use here on this shoot. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.